Okay, welcome back to Banish from Hero Party Anime Review, episode number tw um, episode number eighteen. We're here reviewing the twenty third episode of the series, The Hero and the Guide. Uh, this actually is a take two because I was getting very close to wrap up the the actual video the day right before, but the audio cut out. Yes, my microphone was seriously for some reason stopped working. It just stopped working for some reason, so I had to stop the video and restart the thing. I wasn't able to happy with that, but that's basically what happened here. So the case is episode. This episode did the cover from a couple of different chapters in the book. Uh, it covered, I think it was like most like chapter two. I think it was. It, covered, it finished covering chapter 3 and covered most of chapter 4. That's most of what it covered here. So, throughout this episode, we have these, these very... It's all focused on... So, we started off with the Cardinal, Van, and Lavender brought to Red's Apothecary. Where they think that their Crusader has betrayed them. And the Cardinal's like, Really? You brought me all here? Woke me up in my bed without having me having breakfast? So... Then they brought to it back. They chat for a bit, and then the course she, of course, the course Ray, m m m had mentioned to Lavender in a previous episode that both have men they love. Lavender loves Van, and Ray loves Red. And here comes Red in the door with Durin, and the card was like, "Gideon, Durin, what are you doing here?" He mentioned, "Oh yeah, this is Apothecary." He does explain a good amount of stuff here. I do appreciate the fact that. L one thing that's really good about this episode is a lot of the book is kept in here. Like, very little has changed here. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Ruti is briefly in the episode. She's in a couple different scenes. Most of what she's covered in her um, indirect house arrest because of Bambi in town. And no, it's not because she punched him, because basically he's after her. Yeah, so... They point some flaws and later on in the episode I'll do the with Durin. Now, there is one small change to do make here. Durin does not go with it. Now in the book, Durin goes with Rit uh, with with uh with Rit, Van, and Lavender and Red out to kill these creatures known as the Sabodi creatures, which these are creatures who hurt children and they're more mental sea creatures. Uh, Yolanda is briefly in the episode. When it's effect, every time she's in, she kills an unseen on sight. Yeah, I do appreciate she's here. She's only here very briefly. And to be curious, did the anime cut a lot of the basic cut her out of the whole episode? Not really, no, because she's not really in this much of the book at this point. So then, of course, they take the the part, the basically the mission to go basically do this. They arrive at the beach before they count the creatures. Van points out, though, ask Red why he carries a bronze sword. Why not a regular sword? He points out, though, the bronze sword is perfectly fine. The fact that he was a when he retired from the Heroes Party. In actuality, he was actually kicked out of the party by their sage because he wanted to... Because... Ares wanted to sleep with Rit. Not Rit, uh, with, with Ruti, Red's sister. Yeah, he was that desperate. So he basically wanted to shoo away the, the hero's brother in order to sleep in order to sleep with her. Yeah, that's kind of basically what he wanted. And in the end, he got killed at the end of the season one, and he, he got basically got buried properly, but they had barely attendance because the guy was a jerk. So then of course they begin the battle, of course, Rit and Lavender begin the fence. Durin is not there for some reason. I'm not sure why they come out of the episode. That thought was really weird. So they do also point out the episode pack what happened his hand. Of course the Cardinal did not know how to do this. He had no idea the Cardinal that that Durin lost his hand and fight with a demon, which they fought even last season. So they fight the creatures. Like basically this the scene is like pretty much intact with the book. Excuse me. We probably say should we go a little more on defense and offense. The fact he's more he's more the way he kind of explains it is that Van is reckless. Like very reckless. And he points out he's a little weak. And then they go down for one more because he also points out though that he had a higher death count than than the hero did. 
which that's not exactly a good balance for a party. So Van basically is told some 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 stuff, and they hold down one last creature who kidnap a child. They free they free the child, kill the creature, and of course return to his her mother, and she thanks him, and that's pretty much the episode in that show. I gotta admit, great episode, and well, we're March on the end of the season. We have only a couple more episodes to go. Do I think finish book five book nine? Yes, I do think so. So yes, yeah, that's pretty much a particular view. If you're curious why I'm doing a video today, because I was hoping to, but my nephew, my nephew was playing video game with me. We were, we were playing Lego Jurassic World. Yep, so maybe tomorrow I might be able to do Blue Exodus. Maybe. So in the next couple of days, it's a maybe when we do a video, but who knows, okay? Thanks, Bye.